Hey YouTubers, you alright? I'm here today to talk about my diet. I've, uh, I've had a few people noticing how much weight I've lost. It's actually quite radical. I'll just let you know I've lost uh, seven inches off my waist within slightly over two months, September, October. Three months, yeah. Three months, seven inches off my waist. Uh, almost two stone, gone, yeah. Mm, no, almost three stone actually. Almost three stone, gone. Uh, I haven't lost any muscle, even if I do look a little bit leaner, not got not lost any muscle, it's still there. So everything that's gone is pure fat, yeah. And the reason for that is because I've sustained a really, really healthy, completely nutritional diet. I've, I've, I've sought nutrition over quantity, people, yeah. Quality over quantity is what I've done. And I also fast. Now that's the big secret, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go into it all for you if you want to do it. I'm going to show you pictures later, before and afters. I'm not doing any before and afters yet because I'm not there yet, people. Yeah, I'm not there. I'm going to get like a ripped bronze machine. Yeah, so that's when I'm going to do the video or the uh, reveal. But yeah, so today, just to let you know, I'm going to do a program and I'm going to break it down what you can and can't eat over the course. But this is number one, yeah, just to tell you what you can't eat, right? Sorry, what you can eat. I'll tell you why I'm telling you what you can eat today because it's more simpler to tell you what you can eat to what you can't eat because you can't eat a lot. So I'll tell you what you can eat. Veg, you can eat. Fruit, you can eat. Any real meat except pork, you can eat. Yeah, remember that. Any real meat except pork, you can eat. Real meat. You've got to recognise it as a meat, yeah? Not sliced ham not slice this slice that because they mess about with it real joints of meat yeah fish i'm going to go into it a little bit deeper in my discussion but you can eat fish but not certain fish um nuts you can eat seeds you can eat legumes everybody knows what legumes are lentil i don't know if quinoa is not a legume but you can eat quinoa um avoid cereal and grain yeah and i'll, I'll get into that later Oil, avoid, but you can eat pure extra virgin olive oil and it has to be extra virgin olive oil, yeah. So I've said nuts and seeds, I've said quinoa, I've said fish, I've said meat, veg, fruit. Right, so let's just, let's just paint that natural picture there, yeah. It ain't confusing people, right? If it's in a box, if it's got stuff added in, into ingredients that you can't read, yeah, definitely don't eat it. If you can't read, right, did you know when you get a box of Weetabix and in the ingredients it says vitamin B12, thiamine, blah de blah de blah, yeah? It's all vitamins and minerals. I used to assume that they were in there. No, if it's in the ingredients, it's been added because the uh, the process of making it into that food has stripped it all of its old nutrients. So they add them back. They add man-made artificial nutrients back. So this is why people, I say avoid cereals and grains because they've been manipulated and stripped. Same with rice, same with pasta, yeah. There's no in it, it's been added. Um, so, yeah, it's quite easy my diet really, isn't it, when you think about it. Imagine you're a caveman and you're wondering about the planet, yeah. You see a fish, you'll go get a fish, what you recognise a fish and you eat a fish, yeah. Then you get a little bit hungry and you see these green leaves on the tree. And as long as they're not poisonous, you eat them, don't you, yeah. Then you wander down the road, you see an animal. Catch it, kill it, eat it, yeah. Then you go to this other tree and forage some nuts, you eat them. Some flowers, they're not poisonous, you eat them. And then you see some seeds growing, yeah, sunflower seeds. You pick them, they're tasty, you eat them, yeah. Is that picture painting, yeah, yeah? That's my diet, people. Real, natural, whole food diet. But what I don't want you to do if you go on my diet, I don't want you to restrict yourself. I don't want you to go, it's a diet, and start counting calories. For God's sake, don't count calories, right? My breakfast is a thousand calories. I'll just give you an example. Am I bothered? No. No, I'm not bothered. It's a thousand calories of pure nutrition. If I didn't eat again for three days, that, that one breakfast of a thousand calories would, would last me a week. It's that dense in nutrition, people. Yeah. And all it is, is egg whites, avocado, banana, water, oats rolled oats i forgot to tell you you can eat porridge make sure it's just rolled oats it's got to say 100 percent rolled oats on box yeah and uh, as i forget stuff i'll add them in if i forget them if i watch this video back and i forgot something i'll add it in but just to uh, clarify meat real meat 
fish, certain fish, I'll go into that deeper later. Oil, only olive oil. Um, seeds, nuts, pulses, legumes, yeah, anything like that. Uh, I think that's it. I might have missed some on that uh, rerun because my brain doesn't work. <laughs> Not when I'm driving. Right, drinks. I'll tell you what you can drink and I'll leave it there. Water, filtered. Black tea. Now, when I say any flavoured tea, I mean not flavoured really, but you know like your ginger tea and your lemon tea and all that, as long as it's real ginger in there, real lemon, real turmeric, don't get flavoured tea, yeah, any of that, so you can drink all that. Um, fruit juice, be careful, if you're going to have fruit juice, get pure pressed fruit juice, or get pure pressed vegetable juice, but when you eat that, you know the shot glasses you have, just have a shot glass of it, because in nature, you don't actually come across fruit and when it enters your body in a fruit in a liquid state it does different things to your glycemic levels which you need to be aware of because what loses your weight people it's not your food it's your insulin and your glycemic levels yeah if you are insulin resistant you'll never lose weight no matter how much you train no matter how little you eat because when you go back onto that sugar factory it all just goes back on and doubles yeah i've seen loads of people i've done it myself lost loads of weight looked fantastic for about a month yeah, go back to normal and you get back to that weight within weeks. And it's because the, uh, the the sugar process factory inside your body builds back up quicker than you don't know what and then you're back to square one piling fat on you. And it, all it is to do with people is false sugars, yeah, and false ingredients. It's like, and you're always hungry, you're always hungry. I'll give you an example. You can eat an old box of Weetabix and you'll still be hungry, yeah. You can eat an handful of fruit and a few nuts and you won't be hungry, you'll be satisfied. That's the difference. So that's my diet in a nutshell, people, yeah? You can't drink beer, obviously. You can't eat dairy except for butter. Um, obviously, you can't have marge. But I'm going to go into all that deeper. Just, just concentrate on what you can have. Wholesome, natural foods, yeah? And uh, I'll, I'll do it next blog and I'll go a little bit deeper into each food, yeah? Just to tell you. And by the way, people, I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor. However, I have lost, uh, I'm, I'm, 13, I'm just under 14 stone, so I've just lost over, over two stone. I've lost seven inches off my waist within three months. Yeah, I've maintained all my muscles. I do look a little bit scrawny, but that does happen. And eventually when my body gets used to the size I am, it all fills back out, yeah. Um, I feel amazing. I go walking every day, go running, and I can exercise three times a week. The, the only thing I will warn you about, people, is... Uh, when you do go on your sugar restricted diet and when I say sugar restricted I don't mean stop eating things with sugar in that are natural you anything natural with sugar in manuka honey included um, natural maple syrup 100% maple syrup included yeah you can eat them believe it or not they do different things to the body because they're natural yeah it's the sugar the added sugar that you have to avoid like plague because uh, nature's sugar is glucose and fructose natural sugar is them two combined and it makes what they call sucrose and it is a poison yeah and when i realized that people i changed my diet not to lose weight believe it or not because i thought i was all right i changed my diet to just get rid of sugar and the and the weight loss came and then my brain switched on and then i thought What's happened here? What has happened here? So then I started doing a bit of research, started looking into it, looking at your glycemic level, looking at insulin resistance, looking at what caused cancer, looking at what caused all these metabolic diseases. And then when I found out it was sugar, I have to tell you all, yeah, because my friends and family and neighbors, people I know, yeah, cousins, they're dying, they're dying people. And it could all be avoided, yeah. Get that sugar out of your diet, the added sugar, yeah? Get off that unnatural food and get onto a natural diet. You're not as hungry, you don't eat as much, and you've got more energy. 